So to begin our iPod ad with a message project, um, you should have already downloaded and decided on what your theme and overall idea for the project is going to be and have downloaded that picture that you're going to use as the silhouette in your iPod ad. So the first step that we're going to do is create uh, the silhouette. So we're going to turn that picture into an all black image. Uh, so let's set up your document. We're going to do a file, new. We're going to name it with your last name, underscore first name, underscore iPod. Now this is where you can decide whether you want your ad to be landscape or portrait. I'm going to make mine landscape. So I'm going to make the width 11, the height 8.5, keep your resolution at 300, and keep your color mode at CMYK. Everything else can say the same, and then click OK. So here we go, we've got our blank piece of paper. Now we're going to save this, so do control S to save it. And we are going to place our image, <clears throat> excuse me, into your uh, project to turn it into a silhouette. So we're going to do a file, place, go to where you saved your image. Now I saved mine on my desktop and I just have to find it. So here it is. My iPod theme is going to be I vote. And then go ahead and click place once you have selected that image. Hit the enter key and then come over to your layers palette, right click that layer and choose rasterize layer. It's going to rasterize your layer and flatten it out. Now, the next thing we want to do is create a new layer, <clears throat> excuse me, for your silhouette to go on. So to do that in the bottom of your layers palette, you're going to choose your new layer button here, the create a new layer, and just single click that and you should have layer one. So we are going to name that layer by double clicking it and calling it Silhouette. Spelled that wrong. That's good enough. All right, so we know that's your silhouette. Now, to begin creating what's called a path, we are going to use our pen tool right here, or you could use your magnetic lasso, but in this case, we're going to use the pen tool because you can get um, a better um, a better cut with it and you can get more details. So we're going to use our pen tool and I'm going to trace around the hand and the box. Okay, We're going to trace the piece of paper separately so that way um, the paper can stay white and the hand and the box will be our silhouette. So we want to open our paths palette. So you're going to go to window and then choose paths and it says that my paths palette is already open which it is if it is net there's no check mark there go ahead and click on the word paths if there is a check mark just go ahead and find that paths palette so you know where it is all right so now what we're going to do is just start clicking so you're going to click click and drag click and drag all right now you want to make sure that your path is not filling with color because we don't want to fill it with color yet. And just click, hold, drag your handlebars out to get a curved line. Now if you need to zoom in on it, do control plus. And remember to use your space bar to help grab your image and move it around a little bit. So click, hold, drag. Now just like an illustrator, you can come back and revisit your path and tweak and tweak the line by using the direct selection tool. So we're going to get this all the way around. Don't forget to zoom in and zoom out. Use your grab hand by holding the space bar down and then always end where you began. Okay, so once you have completed the path, the dots will actually go away. Um, and then you can use your, direct selection tool here to click on that path and go back in and tweak your lines. So here we're gonna have to move 
this out a little bit, move this in a little bit. You want to get as much detail correct as you can because once we add the black paint into this selection, you lose all the detail of your image. So it looks like we might need to add a point right here. If that's the case, go back to your pen tool, hold your mouse click down, and choose the Add Anchor Point tool. You can add another point to that line and then go back to your white arrow or your direct selection tool to move that point wherever you need it to go. So you can always add more, take away. It's never a final decision until you come back out and look at your path all together. All right, so that looks good to me. Now notice in our paths palette, this work path showed up as we were drawing. You wanna double click on that and I'm gonna name my work path hand and click OK. And what that does is it saves that path. So once you've done that, go ahead and do a control S to save your file. And I'm just gonna save mine to the desktop. And then to fill that path, we're gonna fill it with black paint right now. So to fill that path, we need to load our selection. So you wanna single click your path, that work path that you just named. Choose this button down here. It looks like a circle with dotted lines around it. That's your load path as a selection button. So you should see the dancing ants. Okay, once you see those dancing ants, you're gonna come up to edit, fill. From the, from the use color or drop down menu, choose black and then click okay. So now you have the selection of the hand. Now to make those ants go away, you want to do control D. Now we're going to make another layer, which is going to be my box. We're going to name that box. And you're going to do the same thing. Okay, you're going to use your pen tool to make that selection. Now what's nice about the pen tool is you don't have to guess on the straight lines. If you just click once without dragging out your handlebars and click again, you get nice straight lines. So we're gonna click, click, click. We're gonna keep nice straight lines and then close up that path where it ends. Now again, we're gonna wanna save this work path as box. Click okay. And then we are going to load that selection and do edit, fill, keep it black, click OK. Now notice my little slice that was the opening in the box disappeared. So what I'm going to do is actually hide my box layer, deselect my ants, and I'm now going to trace my box lots. Okay. And we're going to load that selection, reshow my box layer. And what I'm actually going to do is just hit delete. And that's going to chop out a hole in my box. So you can do this if it's like a space, whether it's in your arm, like the arm space or the space between your legs or any kind of space that needs something like a donut hole. Um, you can do that and it acts just like a cookie cutter and it chops out that shape in the center. Okay, now our next shape that I'm going to do is the ballot, the piece of paper. And all I'm going to do for this is make a new layer. We're going to call this ballot. Again, use my pen tool. And we're going to trace, 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 trace all the way around. Again, where you're going to load that selection, edit, fill. This time I'm going to make this white. So we're going to choose the white option and click OK. Then I'm going to show my other layers and get rid of those ants. Okay. But now notice the rectangle is on top of my hand. So I'm actually going to move the ballot underneath my silhouette and I'm going to move the box underneath the ballot layer. Um, 
So now it looks like my hand is holding on to that piece of paper and it's going into the ballot box. So if I hide the original image that I cut out, or the, that I used to cut out, this is what we've got left, okay? So after this, we're gonna talk about the background, we're gonna talk about adding some text and adding your message in there.